Let us consider an arc like this. We need to find the center of mass or coordinate of center of mass of this arc. Before that, let's represent this arc in a coordinate axis. That is, let this be the this be the y axis and this be the x axis. It is clear that let's mark this. This is equal to y and this one is equal to x. Clearly, this arc is symmetric about the y axis. If anything is symmetric about the y axis, then we have x cm is equal to 0. We don't have to do anything. If, if it is symmetric about the y axis, x cm is equal to 0. We only need to find the y cm. For that, let us consider a length, a small length of dl in here, dl. Let this, there is a section of arc of length dl. Before that, let theta be the, not theta, let alpha be the angle subtended by the arc, angle subtended by the arc. At the, at the origin, let this be alpha, clear. So this will be alpha by 2 and here it will be alpha by 2. So I am writing just alpha by 2 and alpha by 2. That is this one is equal to alpha by 2 and this one is equal to also alpha by 2. So that the total angle is alpha, clear. Now let us consider a, a small sector like this let that the angle that small angle be this small angle be d theta and the angle from the y axis be theta let r be the radius of the arc r clear so this will be arc. So this portion, if you call this as O, A, B, if you draw that out, it will be like this. O, A, B. This length is equal to R. This is equal to D theta. So this, this length A, B is equal to R, D theta. That is our that is our dl equal to r p theta. Clear. Now, um, if if rho be the let rho be the mass per unit length of the arc of the arc. Then the mass of this small portion dl is equal to dl, mass of the small portion dm is equal to density into length dl. That is, sorry, mass per unit length into dl. That is rho into dl is equal to rt theta. Clear. Let's call that as equation number one. We have the equation for the center of mass ycm is equal to integral y dm divided by integral dm clear also now let us take this triangle o let's call this point c that triangle is like this o c o c a clear this one is equal to theta and this length you know r so o c will be if you take cos theta, cos theta is equal to OC, this one is right, it's a right angle triangle, OC by OA or OC is equal to OA, if you take OA into OA cos theta, that is R cos theta. So this is our Y, Y, therefore Y is equal to y is equal to we have y is equal to this y is equal to r cos theta 
substituting in here you get r cos theta instead of dm you can write rho r d theta divided by integral dm now the variable is theta you just consider that is here it is alpha by 2 here it is alpha by 2 so it will be like this on the left side you have to take minus alpha by 2 and on the right side it is alpha by 2 it will be something like this that is this you take you have to take as minus alpha by 2 and here it is alpha by 2 clear now we can integrate this so y cm is equal to see this r r remains constant clear r so r into r is r square rho you can take that outside r square rho integral minus alpha by 2 to alpha by 2 cos theta d theta divided by integral dm then you have to find the integral of dm how will you do that we have the total length since the total length of the arc i will draw it in here the angle subtended at the center is alpha the whole angle is alpha and you know the total length L is equal to R times alpha. This length is equal to R. So the mass will be integral dm is equal to length into this length into density that is rho R alpha. So the equation will become this is equal to R square rho integral of cos theta is equal to sin theta now minus alpha by 2 alpha by 2 integral dm we form that as rho r alpha now you have to put the upper and lower limit that is r square rho first the upper limit sin alpha by 2 minus sin of minus alpha by 2 divided by rho r alpha we can cancel this r and one of the r and also the rho so this will be r by alpha this is equal to sin alpha by 2 minus you can take this minus outside so it will be plus sin alpha by 2 because sine of minus alpha by 2 is equal to minus sine alpha by 2. And that minus and this minus will get cancelled and it will, it will become positive. So this is equal to 2R sine alpha by 2 divided by alpha. So we have YCM we have YCM y coordinate of the center of mass is at a distance 2 r sin alpha by 2 divided by alpha and we already took xcm as since it is symmetric to y axis it is equal to 0 so the coordinate will be 0 2 r sin alpha by 2 divided by alpha clear it will be somewhere like this somewhere here where this length will be 2r sin alpha by 2 divided by alpha so what is the case so what is the case special case we just have to take a special case that what if the arc is a semicircle see if it is a semicircle that is the arc will meet here in that case you get alpha is equal to alpha is equal to 180 degrees see this will be our alpha that alpha will be 180 or in radian it is pi so y cm is equal to you don't have to find it 
in, in separately you only have to put alpha a pi instead of alpha so 2 so that 2r sine pi by 2 divided by pi you know sine pi by 2 means sine 90 which is equal to 1 so the answer will be 2r by pi that is the ycr for for a semicircular arc clear